Today we're looking at funny signs. Plain and simple. Do you feed this cat or is he stealing food from you? Could you please stop fe feeding him please? We thank you for your generosity, but unfortunately he's been getting a bit fat and being sick more often. He's very good at acting deprived and malnourished, but I can assure you he's getting three square meals a day at home, more than the recommended daily allowance of treats, and on top of that, he keeps the neighborhood rodent population down. He's got a very sensitive stomach and is being sick a lot. We would really appreciate it if you would stop feeding him. Thank you. P.S. If you're not feeding him intentionally and he's actually breaking into your home and eating your food, sorry. This reminds me of my own cat. He gets food same time every morning, afternoon, evening, and before I go to bed. He literally gets like up to four plates of food a day. It's because the cans are really small. So that's why we feed him like multiple times during the day, like more than three times. And he gets a lot of treats. But every single morning, he's at either my mom's door or my door, whining and whining and whining and crying for food as if he has never been fed his entire life. No sex in the pool. No fingering in the pool. No wanking in the pool. No BJ in the pool. The pool is to be treated as if it is a public pool. Any person caught will have their membership revoked. STIs live in water for 10 days. Allowing chlorinated water into your vagina increases your chances by 90% of developing extreme thrush as your pH will be out of balance. This is one of those signs that like have to be put in place because obviously people have been doing this so they gotta remind you if it's a public pool, you shouldn't be doing this stuff in the public pool. Teenagers, tired of being harassed by your stupid parents? Act now, move out, get a job, pay your own bills while you still know everything. We all think we know everything when we're a teenager, but we really don't. We don't know about the real world. All we know is sitting at a desk for seven hours a day on weekdays. We don't know what really goes on in the real world. Do almost anything for a dollar, but no gay stuff. Okay, well, at least he's setting boundaries. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh because this individual must be going through very tough times if he's willing to do anything just for one dollar. No gay things, of course, but he, he wants, he's, he's going to do anything for one dollar, so probably shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> the, the way that he wrote <laughs> the last part of the sign is just, is just getting to my, it's tickling my funny bone. Yaid sale, yard sard, yare sale, big yale, yale sale. Yarb sale. The Yale sale, are they selling Yale College? I wonder how much that would be going for though. Probably pretty expensive. Target Stables Aldi Dicks. That's okay. They probably did that on purpose for that plaza. It's gonna get people to look at it, take pictures of it, give it more exposure. Marketing tactics. How to turn your landlord into a tent in four easy steps. Capture your landlord, remove and dry parts, construct the frame, cover with skin and secure with ribs sorry for getting really close to my phone kind of hard to read the steps <laughs> why would anyone need to know how to turn their landlord into a tent you got to capture him you got and pretty much got to kill him that's committing like two crimes right there so i mean if you don't want to pay rent anymore i guess you could do this and then be in jail for the rest of your life you won't have to pay rent then <laughs> beware of log guard log two thousand five hundred dollars to sell a guard log? Guard log must be doing its job if we're selling it for that much. This bucket is for cigarettes. All cigarettes are to go into this bucket, not the floor. The floor is not for cigarettes. This bucket is for cigarettes only. No trash is to go in this bucket. That is what trash cans are used for, not this bucket. This bucket is for cigarettes only. Again, the floor is not for cigarettes. List of things for use. Floors is for walking and not for cigarettes. This bucket is for cigarettes only. Trash cans are for trash. This bucket is not for trash. Pretty good sign. Just, and I think they, they need to make it a little more clear with what exactly the bucket is for because after reading all that, I still don't really understand. So I'm if I see this bucket, I'm probably just gonna throw something that I'm not supposed to throw in there. We have received reports of ghost sightings on trains, platforms, and other London underground property. If you or anyone traveling with you see any ghost or spiritual entity whilst traveling on London underground, please report it immediately to a member of staff or any transport police officer. These ghosts are traveling without valid payment and London Underground is taking steps to ensure this activity ceases with immediate effect. The, the <laughs> These ghosts or spirits or, or whatever they are, when they were alive, they must have been doing the same thing, going without any valid payment. And they got you gotta make sure that they pay what, they're, what they owe even when they're a ghost or spirit. But at the same time, I feel like you claim to see like 
spirits or ghosts or something, you might have a bigger challenge than going to find police and reporting. Attention drug dealers, report your competition. Yeah, if you got competition, just call 330-333-1-TIP and you'll, you'll get more customers or you'll get arrested too. Don't knock unless I married you, birthed you, or ordered food from you. Eh, that's legit. If I ordered food from you, come on in. You can even eat the food with us. You did your duty. You ordered that food expeditiously. I'll give you your like five, ten dollar, fifteen dollar tip. Come on in and eat with us before you gotta go back and make another delivery. You probably traveled like an hour. You're tired. Come through. Please do not smile at strangers. And this is a sign in New York. It's pretty valid that you don't wanna get into it with a stranger in New York. I was in New York last month. I was with some friends. We were on the train, and this woman on the other end of the train car. I don't think that she was mentally well she was like threatening us i didn't know like she i just heard her yelling at first and i just quickly like glanced over and unfortunately i think that caught her attention because then she started talking to us and i could tell she was talking to us because we were like the only other people on the train car at that at that time and she kept going on about how she has like six stitches she's been through it all she's gonna beat us up kind of thing don't smile don't look don't do anything around strangers in new york it is Monday afternoon as of when I'm filming this video. I meant to film this last night, Sunday night, but these glasses that I'm wearing, I was trying to clean these things for like almost an hour last night because I like wearing them in my videos sometimes. Even though I know the reflection on my glasses from the ring light makes it hard to see my eyes sometimes, but it's just so I can see. But yeah, I, I almost spent like an hour trying to clean these things. And by the time I was done, it was too late to make this video. And even like the week before that, I spent like two hours cleaning my, trying to clean my glasses. I started cleaning my glasses my mom went somewhere, she came back like two hours later, I was still cleaning my glasses. And even like for 30 more minutes after she got home, I was still cleaning these things. I'm very OCD about them. Like I need I need the lenses to be clean, clear, everything. And they're even not perfect right now. They're, they're not how I want them, but like I just, I, I gotta like try to force myself to stop spending so much time on them. I need to get them to the point where they can just get the job done because not everything is gonna be perfect.